Hello everyone and welcome to another video with me 320 Sim Pilot and today we're looking at how to change your destination or your arrival in the MCDU in the Airbus A320neo in Microsoft Flight Simulator. We're going to look at first of all how you can change the different arrivals so if you want to change your ILS to a different runway or your star and after that we're going to look at how you might change your destination uh, completely uh, from maybe a diversion or some other reason. As ever, this is not for any real world use, it's just for our use in uh, Flight Simulator. I am a real world Airbus pilot, so hopefully this can give you some extra context on your home simulations. As you can see, I'm also using the Flyby Wire mod for the A320neo, which I highly recommend if you're using the Airbus and Microsoft Flight Simulator, because it really does make the whole experience uh, much, much uh, better, and it's constantly improving. And we'll talk about some of the, the things on the way that still need improvement as, as time goes on, and I'm sure they will be eventually, and we'll have a look at what we can expect in the future. Right, let's get started. Here we are then, so let's set up a flight, and today we're going to go in our Airbus A320neo, of course, departing from Hamburg in Germany, obviously, Echo Delta Delta Hotel, and we're going to fly to Frankfurt, Echo Delta Delta Foxtrot. I'm going to select low altitude airways on this little menu here. Sorry, high altitude airways, high altitude airways. And that gives us a route, which you can see pretty reasonable. It's also automatically selected runway 15 with a departure uh, and it's not got any arrival at the other end. So let's imagine we're going to arrive. What's our arrival going to be via? Is there a GSM? This is always a bit tricky. You sometimes have to just do your best. You can actually select through them and see which one sort of fits your arrival angle. Frankfurt has a lot of different arrivals. What we'll do is we'll start off actually by saying direct and then I'll choose the runway I'm expecting to land on. Let's imagine we expect to land on uh, 25 Center, 25 Charlie. Now I'll choose an arrival and see if any of them line up. That'd be a bit far to go around, but that's fine. Okay, let's, let's leave that arrival. Um, so not very efficient, but there we go and we're going to change it when we get underway anyway. So now let's jump in and get going. So I'm not going to touch that route now, I'm just going to click ready to fly. If we look in the MCDU and flight plan, we can see, I can also select plan up here, that it has actually loaded in that route that we asked it to all the way down with a departure and arrival a bit of nonsense there, the coding isn't always perfect on these uh, for the RLS25 center in Frankfurt. So that I'm going to leave exactly as it is. Um, we will put in a cost i I'll put in a cost 5. Cruising flight level, let's go 4, probably just about an even flight level, so flight level 300. We'll take off and get going and then have a look at how we can change things around. If you need help with anything you've seen so far, I do have a video tutorial on setting up the MCDU. So if you want to do that yourself, instead of through the Microsoft Flight Simulator planning tool, then I have a tutorial on that. And I also have a takeoff tutorial, which will help explain how we got up to this point. We've now leveled off slightly lower, flight level 280. Uh, and as you can see, we're getting near to our time to descend already into Frankfurt. So what I'm going to do is have a look in the MCDU and it's got 2.5 left, I'm not sure how it's ended up with that, but uh, that was just loaded in by Microsoft Flight Simulator. And now let's imagine um, as if you're on VATSIM, which is the air traffic control network, or you have a, for some reason a change in the runway you would like to fly to, how do we change it? So go to your flight plan page uh, by just by pressing F plan. Select the little line select key next to your destination, so EDDF 2.5 left, so I can just select next to that. And now arrival. I think in the real aircraft that would actually appear on the right side over here um, but I, it's one of those things that uh, I, I don't think about too often you just get used to pressing them but anyway we'll press arrival and there we go we can see ILS 25 is the approach expected via Mike Tango Romeo with the uniform number Oscar Kilo 3 Golf arrival so let's have a look on the screen if I go to plan it would actually let me zoom in a bit um, and see what's going on I can change the arrival so all I have to do is just like if I was setting it up at the start of the flight select let's say the ILS 07 left say the wind has changed and now they're landing in a different direction select the ILS 07 left and now let's choose a 
probably a similar star that should be applicable to that runway. It, Frankfurt's a bit of a complicated one, but if air traffic control tells you, you will know which star you want to follow. Let's say the Anoku um, might even be able to use the three golf again. No, okay, so let's use the Anoku three hotel. The, the via is already automatically selected, but either way, now we get a yellow line, which shows us a slightly different arrival. We zoom out, we might get a better view of that. In the real aircraft, you can actually scroll along to see. Um, and now just press insert, and that's that, job done. If we go into flight plan now, the destination is still Frankfurt, runway 07 left. You can scroll through, and it's got all the arrival points down to the runway 07 left ILS, and it's tuned the new ILS automatically, because we don't have to tune that ourselves on the Airbus, we just select it in the flight plan page. And there we go, there's a different arrival. And the same applies, you could change it again, obviously um, scroll through different runway, and you can do that all in flight. Uh, and that does work in the fly-by-wire mod in Microsoft Flight Simulator. Here we are now in X-Plane, and the reason I'm in this is because I want to show you the next stage of the video, um, how it should be done, and then hopefully Microsoft Flight Simulator will get updated in the near future so that you can use this technique there as well. So we're going to look at changing the destination airport now, um, and we're going to do that in the TOLIS Airbus A321 here in our 320 SIM pilot uh, Manta livery. Let's jump into the flight deck. So we are here in the cruise once again flying from, as you can see in the uh, MCDU, route is from Hamburg to Frankfurt. And as you can see, I've loaded in an alternate of Echo Delta Delta Lima. So Dusseldorf is our alternate for this flight. If we go to the map, make it a bit bigger. You might be able to see, maybe not. Anyway. That is our alternate. So how do we change, let's say for some reason Frankfurt, our current destination, closes um, and we want to go to Dusseldorf or any other airport for that matter. Well, to start off with, to go to our alternate, there is a really simple way. I can select next to one of these points and then select enable alternate. I'm not going to do that now, but if I was to do that, then it would change the destination over to uh, Dusseldorf. Another way we can do it is by going to use the really my favorite way actually is to select back to flight plan select one of the waypoints like care Axe here for example and then on the right it says new dest and i can just type in echo delta delta lima and i think this is the easiest way to change around your destination and you can see it does temporary i'm going to insert that there's a discontinuity from our arrival into frankfurt obviously and now just like before, I can select my arrival. Oh, let's, let's say we expect the 2 3 left via DOM arrival, via BAM, something like that. And then I can insert it and then route direct to the waypoint. So let's say a traffic control clears us direct to BAM. And there we go. And now I have a new destination. Of course, I need to enter the data and so on for the approach, just as we do in the MCDU normally. But now we have a new destination in our MCDU. There is one other way, which is using the secondary flight plan. If I have my primary flight plan, now you can see it's routing us to Dusseldorf, uh, Echo Delta Delta Lima. Let's say Frankfurt reopens and now we want to go back there. So in the secondary, there's nothing at the moment. It's completely empty. The secondary flight plan is a flight plan loaded into the MCDU, but it's not active. It's not being used. It's just sitting there ready to be used if you need it. So what I'm going to do is copy the active. What that means is it's going to copy what's in my primary flight plan, the flight plan I'm currently using. So now if I go to secondary flight plan, press sec flight plan and go into the secondary, you can see that it's exactly the same routing to Dusseldorf. But what I can do in the secondary is exactly what we did earlier. I can say new destination, Echo Delta Delta Lim, uh, let's change it back to Frankfurt, Echo Delta Delta Foxtrot. Now I can choose the arrival, ILS 07 center, for example, or whichever star you have. And you don't need to insert that in secondaries, although in TOLIS it seems to make you. In the real aircraft, there's no inserting. Um, it just works. But anyway, it's all written in white, and here we go. So once you've inserted that, I could say not how it works in the real aircraft, but there we go. You now have a secondary flight plan uh, that takes us to Frankfurt. Now, of course, we don't want to go to Frankfurt, um, we want to go to, uh, sorry, we don't want to go to Dusseldorf anymore, we want to go to Frankfurt. So I'm going to put it into heading mode and then I can activate my secondary. And now, as you can see, secondary, although it still has a lot of clutter in it, now routes us towards Frankfurt. So we choose one of these waypoints and now we can go back, activate secondary, 
nav mode and we're going to Frankfurt. New destination EDDF. So there you go. So there's three ways to do the uh, MCDU change of destination in the, uh, the actual aircraft. We've got my favorite one, which is typing in new destination. So flight plan, select a point, new destination, and then finish up your flight plan from there. You've got the enable alternates. So if you have an alternate on your init page, for example, uh, let's put in Amsterdam. So you have an alternate in there, then you can choose a waypoint and then enable alternates. And now you'll see Eham become the destination and then you have to insert. Uh, and finally, you've got the secondary flight plan where you can, if you're in heading mode, activate the secondary and it will change your destination to, uh, to the one that you have loaded into there. Remember the secondary as well, you can set it up yourself. So instead of having all this clutter, I could clear out some waypoints uh, and, and have an actual flight plan that's useful in there. At the moment, it's a bit of a mess. So something worth noting is that you might want to clear out these incorrect points so that you have something reasonable in there ready to go. And there you go. Hopefully that uh, explains some of the ways that we will, fingers crossed, be able to use in Microsoft Flight Simulator one day, but they do currently work in the TOLIS in X-Plane 11. So we're back in our flight deck in Microsoft Flight Simulator heading towards uh, Frankfurt and we decide that we're going to change to our alternate Echo Delta Delta Lima Dusseldorf. So how can we do that? And changing your arrival destination is quite rare but it can be that you need to divert or your destination has closed, maybe the runways are closed, maybe there's a thunderstorm overhead, things like that. Well if it was your alternate, your planned alternate, there is an easy way. You can go to select one of the flight plan waypoints so any of these waypoints and enable alternate but it doesn't work in Microsoft Flight Simulator. Likewise uh, the easiest way for me personally is I would always just use new dest echo delta delta lima but sadly you would type that in select it there and it would appear and you could insert it in the flight plan and then just as we did earlier you'd be able to select your arrival as you've seen in X-Plane as well. But neither of those features work in Microsoft Flight Simulator yet. So hopefully they will in the future. For now, uh, the secondary doesn't work either. So what we can do is press init and then change our from to. You don't do this in the real aircraft, funnily enough, but it does work here. So I'm just going to type in eddh slash eddl, my new destination of Dusseldorf. There's no route loaded in. That's fine. And now you'll see in the flight plan, it's just sort of empty. It gets a bit confused, but it does turn. So make sure you're in heading before you do that, especially if you're on VATSIM. Um, and then you can rebuild your flight. So now I can put an arrival ILS05 left at Dusseldorf, for example, via the Lima Mike Alpha 9 X ray baggy and insert. Oh, excuse me. And now I can go direct to a biggie. Sorry, a biggie. And then now we're starting to get back into what we expect. If I go flight plan, plan. And there you go, we've now changed our destination. Hamburg's up there, but we scroll through and we have our arrival into Dusseldorf. Now it's not great, we get this sort of mix match of points sometimes, which can happen. But the idea is we're going to come round and then go in and land on uh, 05 left. So that's the only way I've found so far to make it work in Microsoft Flight Simulator. Hopefully that improves in the, uh, the future. That's all for today's video. Thank you very much for watching. I hope it's been useful and uh, I'll certainly be keeping track of the update and see if we can get these features uh, activated in Microsoft Flight Simulator soon. Plenty more videos, live streams and tutorials coming on the channel soon. So do please like and subscribe if you'd like to be notified of those. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you again in another video soon. Keep safe and well. Thank you. Bye bye.